Hi, this is Earl and Carol, and we just wanted to uh, get a, tell you about an incident about hell that my husband had when he was in the intensive care unit at Bronson. He had had a burst, a pituitary uh, tumor uh, removed from his uh, head, and he recovered very quickly and, and very well. And about the second day that we came, my daughters and I came into the hospital room. Um, my husband was sitting up eating cereal, and he looked really good and everything. He says, did you have a good night, Daddy? And he says, he says, I did. He said, but I had something happen. I said, well, what happened? He said, I had a vision or a dream of hell. And he began to tell us about it. And as he told us about it, the tears were just streaming down his face. And I'm going to have him tell you what he told us. I couldn't, I couldn't think about it or talk about it for days without crying because it upset me so bad. I, I was floating in water over top of the hugest pit you ever would want to see and there was all kinds of people trying to scramble out of this pit and there was the most hideous, most hideous creatures were pulling them back down and chewing at them, and one was particularly after me, and I was floating just above them, and this this creature had, had looked like a underside of a uh, octopus with a beak trying to get at me, and I kept calling on the name of Jesus to help me, to help me, and I kept floating a little higher in this water. Every time I called for Jesus, I floated a little bit higher, and I kept floating until I saw a flat top mountain and there was a cross a nice shiny cross on top of that mountain and I knew I had to make it there and I, I kept floating toward it and calling on the name of Jesus and I got to that cross and put my arms around the base of it and I said thank you Jesus and then I woke up we don't know whether it was a vision or a, or a dream but he said he thought he was awake when he entered into whatever this was and he said that that pit was so horrible that people were trying to claw their way out of it and as they would these creatures would grab a hold of a hold of them and drag them back down and devour them I, I never saw such hideous hideous creatures and I never want to see them again I never want to visit there again For, it was so real to me that I, I just I just can't fathom them yet without hardly crying and we don't want any of you to ever experience hell because if what my husband saw, it is not a place where you're going to see all your other beer buddies and all of that and just enjoy yourself like you have on earth. It is going to be complete separation from God for Jesus is the way and the only way unto the Father. And those that call upon his name will be saved. And I hope many of you, as you see this, video that we have made our pastor we told our pastor about it and he said we should make this and put it on uh, YouTube in hopes that even if one of you believe it and call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved it'll be worth my husband having to go through such a horrific experience I never had anything any more real to me than that experience I had and I was so grateful when I Tony woke up with my arms around that cross.